Hello, it's Brent with Whiskey 7 Backroads, and today we're going to show you some upgrades to the Earth Cruiser. All right, this we're going to start in the back. And for those of you who um, didn't see the last video, I'll post a link to the new wrap that we got. We're, we're getting ready right now to uh, head out on Thursday to Moab for a three week uh, adventure. And so uh, we're wiping everything down and getting it ready to go. So this is the first upgrade that I did. I uh, put these cam locks in and uh, I was having a lot of problems with dust and water getting in here and so i uh i put in these cam locks they're adjustable i don't know how i got them on amazon i'll uh, post a link to down below but uh they work great i tested them out the other day on a dusty road you can adjust them and uh they lock in to place and uh very secure so Second uh, modification that we did was on the antenna. It's going to be hard to see, but up at the top, um, that thing used to always shake loose. And so I Loctited everything and I put, had some, uh, had a company locally put some uh, set screws in there so that I could uh, crank it down and uh, not have to worry about it uh, coming loose. So mod number three, um, this is the new I hope you can see this this is the new dog tie out so I got one on either side and uh, it goes out 15 feet and it's got a little a little rubber piece right here sorry for the shaky camera and then it just holds it and I can put the dogs on there there's a uh, rusty walking by right there say hi rusty <laughs> and uh, and then when we're at camp and we want to tie the dogs off it swivels I can take it off of there and uh, retracts so I got one on that side and I got one on this side so one bolt and uh, put those in so that's working out pretty good while I'm back here I'll show you another mod under here I don't know if you can see it or not but there is a temperature sensor right there Sure, and I always want to know what the temperature is outside. And uh, so we put a uh, weather station in. I'll show you where it's at in the inside. And uh, we uh, have the temperature outside. So, and mods up front, a couple of them here. First one, if you haven't seen these, you need to take a look at them. They're uh, element, They're, this is fire protection. So that little thing right there is a classy fire extinguisher doesn't do as much damage as uh, a normal fire extinguisher would do as far as the mess puts the fire out you take it off of here strike the end like you would a flare and it puts out a gas that puts out the fire got one mounted here got one mounted on the passenger side and then one of the biggest mods that we've done I relocated hopefully you can see this yeah, I think you can. Relocated this. It was here. I relocated it to here. And then we put in a dash cam. So now we've got a dash cam. Got a camera facing back at me and Cheryl and the dogs. Got a uh, camera facing forward. And uh, I'll put a link to the one that we... I got it from 51 Drones. Well, he did a review on it and it looked like it was a pretty good one. So... That's the one we went with. I think that's about it for the front. I've got a couple in the back here. Oh, I did this. I uh, probably didn't see before, but I had some very um, different holders for the maps and they would fall out. So I put these plastic pieces in here and uh, hold the maps in. So we'll see how that works. All right, here's the other side. So here's the passenger side. Again, these are called element fire extinguishers. Not not expensive, or not a, not cheap. Fairly expensive, but no expiration date. So they'll last a long time, don't have to recharge them. So really, um, if you go through a couple recharges of a 
extinguisher you'd be better off with those here's the cab from the other side and uh, here's the wrap close up I'm going to head inside and show you a couple things on the inside okay we're on the inside of the earth cruiser and a couple of modifications that we did here this was always kind of a clutter space and I think it came with one of these cutting boards but we've either lost it or I don't know so anyway we got another one made and I custom cut it out on the corners so uh, mounted this just to keep uh, soap and, and uh, some of the um, sponges out of the way and then this is actually the garbage and we're going to relocate the garbage I hope you guys can see this but uh, we're going to relocate the garbage and then I put these little racks on top so that it keeps things in place we're always uh, you know counter space is at a premium in this thing and so I've seen some other guys do this um, and so um, we didn't put the tile behind there we could have but I did put a little rack system in there I got to put some salt pepper and some different things in there so that is the mod and then what we're going to do here and i think a couple of the earth cruisers owners have done this um the cushion is on order but basically we took the table out don't use it very often especially with the dogs and right here i'm going to build a uh i'm going to build something that goes across here and i got a cushion ordered that's going to go here so this is going to be a u-shape come back here oh, sorry it's gonna be a u-shape so we're gonna have a pad there and underneath of that it's gonna be where the dogs uh, dog food is at and then a garbage can so that's where we're gonna relocate the garbage can I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this but this is the view from the front that the dogs have and then here is the thermometer and I just velcroed it up there uh, with some really super velcro and as you can see it's 58 degrees outside 66 inside so it's working good and uh, that is the uh, the new thermometer for the inside and outside so I think that's everything I'm um, getting ready to go on the Moab trip if uh, anybody sees us going down the road please flag us down we've got some uh, hats and some shirts and I've got a rally point on the Overland Bound website and uh, we're going to take a, a, a group through Moab, um, the Grand Staircase, North Rim, Bryce, Zions, Alstrom Point, um, uh, some areas outside of Moab, Natural Bridges, and we're going to take some video of all of it and uh, share it with everybody. So getting ready to head out on Thursday. Today is Saturday evening. And... Uh, can't wait uh, looking forward to it. I haven't been out for a while so if you haven't subscribed please do if you like the videos we're putting out and hit the notif little bell to get notified of uh, upcoming videos thanks for watching this is Brent with whiskey 7 backroads and uh, we will have another video coming out soon with uh, with uh, the first leg of the trip